What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my adventures in Don't Starve. Oh, clouds. Get away. Thank you. If you zoom too far out, you see nothing but clouds, and it's kind of annoying. I just want to find some rocks. That's literally all I've been doing is looking for fucking rocks! I just... Uh, I'm gonna build a campfire and wait the night out. If I build a fire here, it, okay, it's not gonna burn down the whole forest. I was concerned for a little bit that that might happen, but it appears to be totally fine. And while I'm waiting out the harsh, harsh night, I might as well go ahead and get some mushrooms, some uh, some wood. Ooh, sapling. At this point, I want saplings more than I want logs. You know, this game is by far the most appropriate game ever to talk about Axemen in. And would you look at that, Mike isn't here to talk about Axemen. And I can in fact set the whole damn forest on fire. Oh, I like this. I hope he watches this. I can almost picture him getting super frustrated about how little Axemen is being discussed. Or maybe not, because, oh, maybe he knows that I'd be thinking this. I'm talking about Axemen right now. Talking about how I haven't been talking about it. Oh, fuck, he's in my head! Oh, and this is... Am I taking damage from this? Also, do I get anything? Yeah, I get... I get cinders or ash or something. And these fucking spiders will not go away. Oh, this is so bad. I can't lose them. I'm in the middle of the, of the night, running through the darkness. With nothing but a torch? I'll, I, I don't care, I'll set the whole damn forest on fire to provide some sheltering light. Yeah, burn it all down! Look at them, they're just... They're just gonna chill out. Oh no, it's a bird, never mind. <laughs> oh no, I hope that dude in the outhouse is okay! I might just get my the answer to my question from last episode about burning it down. I can't believe the fire propagates in this. The fire is actually spreading to all the trees. Oh, and another... Ugh, goddamn spider. Please die. At least I have my axe out for that one. I get some spider meat. That's good, I guess. Get some logs. I have no... I still have no goddamn rocks, and that's driving me insane. One second. There we go. Just had to fix something real quick. Oh, god. <laughs> now I get to go through this graveyard of trees that used to be the forest. Look, it's nothing but... ash. Oh, shit. And I don't even know what to do with the ash. That's the problem. I guess that's a down-the-line type of problem. For now, though, I still have this issue where... Chopping the, the burnout trees down. Oh, what the hell? It's a deep frog. These frogs roll fucking deep around here. Jeez. At least the outhouse didn't burn down. That's a positive. I don't know why I'm so attached to that outhouse. I feel for the guy in there. Whoever's in there. Assuming there's anyone in there. Should go in and steal all the toilet paper just to add insult to injury. Imagine you go in the outhouse and you come out and everything around you has just been reduced to flaming rubble. What's more heartless than filtering a roll of toilet paper? Transforming it into a roll of 20s. The squeezably soft counterfeiter next on 6 Ad World. Oh man. I burnt this whole forest down, come to think of it, without a single piece of flint. I just want... I want stones, varieties of stones, rocks, and I think the one I'm looking for are... Yeah, I think I'm actually looking for flint. So priority, rocks, and then we build some more fire, wait out fourth night. Actually, I'm on day three, third night. Wait, I have everything backwards. Anyway, rocks, fire, then science machine. I just want to have a little bit of science. Is that too much to ask? Can I just get a little bit of science? Just a taste of science. Oh, man. I'm, I'm just going to wander the earth forever looking for rocks or flint. Good God. 
It's like I'm just wandering deeper and deeper into madness here. I'm, uh, this is an area I've already been to, apparently. Uh, not that it's recognizable what with all the incinerated tree skeletons around here. Hey, hey it's the Owl House again. What the hell is that? That appears to be the protagonist from Hotline Miami 2, the Pig Butcher. You know, when you see a big, bipedal, angry-looking pig who just exited an outhouse after having everything around him set ablaze and then all of his toilet paper stolen, you don't want to mess with that, so I'm going to go uh, a different direction from him. God, it's driving me nuts that I cannot find this. I'm gonna start wandering around here soon and hearing voices if I don't find some flint. There's so much of this area I've explored and not a single goddamn piece of flint. Is There has to be like a solid methodology here for finding things. Like Certain areas have to be more populated with uh, certain terrain features, right? Like... Whenever you're in a, 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 a grassy area, you'll you'll find more saplings or something. So how do I go about finding flint? Like, where would I even locate that? I am gonna actually look this up. Okay, so I I can mine it. It's obviously sitting around on the surface. It on the surface I picked a bunch up earlier. And I know this is in large part my fault because I wasted a bunch of it. I think I made an extra an extra axe instead of a pickaxe which kind of fucked me over but I just have not been finding that much of it unless I totally ignored a ton that I found earlier but I, I've not found a satisfactory amount and we are now approaching late afternoon on day three which that just pisses me off I have a really bad run with this flint but I got a lot of I have a lot of other supplies I have a limited amount of inventory space though but I want to build that science machine, start cranking out prototypes of stuff. Ooh, carrot. Carrot, got some grass, some berries. I think I see what I want. Yeah, Flint. There you are. Thank sweet Jesus Christ. And I'm not under siege by spiders here. I'm, uh, I'm not being stalked by marauding pig butchers who are pissed off because I threaten their the serenity of their pooping. I see more flint. Oh, this is going really well all of a sudden. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I don't like it when owl turkeys just suddenly pop up out of bushes. Oh, what the hell was that? I saw something out of my peripheral vision. And the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree. The pine tree just... Did it just regrow all of its pine needles? Oh, freaky stuff is starting to happen. Unless are these sanity effects, my sanity is starting to go down quite a bit. I'll have to deal with that. But again, that's more of a long-term problem. I will fix that when time comes around. Okay. I have to start dropping a few things. I can set up shop around here, or at least make a little makeshift cash for all of my excess items. I... Hmm, I don't think I can craft the backpack yet. It's also not an issue that I have to worry about for the time being, because it is now dark out. I have to make sure I have my campfire set up. Let's see, pickaxe. Yeah. Don't have enough space. Let's consume some stuff and clear out some inventory room. Let's see what else. Pickaxe. Okay. Now I can mine some extra flint if I if ever I come into trouble locating it again. I don't really want to make the axe, but I do want to free up a little bit of room. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna waste the resources for that. My axe is in great shape as is, and I have another one waiting in the wings. So what else can I do around here while I wait? I can chop some tree some trees down. I can do that logging. Do that sweet, sweet logging. Oh, man. I'll stoke the fire. Oh, I can't. 
Oh, I thought I would be able to stoke it. Maybe that's just the advanced bonfire. I know the next bonfire after this one that you make, you can stoke. Unless I just did it wrong. Let's see, what else do we have? We have seeds. Could consume a bunch of those. My health is pretty low. Uh, but I don't have enough seeds to really heal up all that much. Yeah, not too much to do while waiting out there. Oh, God, bird. Thought I was under attack. Okay, now I can com I can recommence exploring. Go around, do some gathering. Ah, more flint. Finally, yes. Oh, so much flint around here. I love it. I love it. They're just giving it all to me now. Okay. There's some berries. There's another bird. I really don't care much for trapping in the early game. Especially when... when Berries and carrots and things are so plentiful. There's even more berries. See, there's so many of them. Uh, this low health situation. Now they're just giving me all the flint. Hey, some more carrots. Yeah, let me go ahead and eat a little bit. My inventory is once again super full. Can too many carrots make your head grow leaves? Uh, what's that, Doc? Next on Six Ed World. I've been watching so much Daria recently. Now I can't get all the Six Ed World quotes out of my head. What's that? Petals and a sapling. Actually, it's tied back. I'm liking this area around here. This area, this is my comfort zone around here. Now we're going to get back on the big dangerous path that leads me into Insanityville. Back where I couldn't find fucking flint before. Oh well, I'm well stocked now, I'm furnished with flint. And I don't have to give in to the voices that... that whisper madness into my ear. The voices, they tell me to praise the world. I am the end and the beginning. I am the hand of madness. See where am I going? I don't have much of a plan for the for an end game at this point. I don't know what I can use the manure for, but I'm assuming it is some kind of application. Everything seems to have at least some purpose, some darker purpose. <laughs> Chop you guys down. Do I want to? Uh, let's do some rearranging. Then we can move on. Yay! Mine that shit. Yes. Oh, shower me with your gold and rocks. And... No. Don't shower me with gold and anything, come to think of it. Don't do that. Oh, that's not gold. Uh, what do I want to drop? I can drop this 14% durability axe. Pick up all this flint. Yeah. My fortunes have, uh, have really reversed at this point in the game. I don't want to really abandon Noam Chomsky over there, but we do what we must. This is another grave. What are all the graves about? This game really has a lot to offer, and I look forward to exploring it. Look forward to plumbing the depths of knowledge in this game. Yay, more shit to break! I look forward to pursuing this scholarly effort. This, uh, this learning endeavor that is... Don't starve. Yay, let's break shit with my big axe. Or with my big pickaxe. Pickaxe. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's some golden nuggets. And yeah, there's also another pigman. The pigmen don't appear to be uh, super hostile. Unless maybe if I mess with their outhouses too much. Yeah, they're pretty nice. I don't mind them. Yeah, four petals aren't going to do me any good, so keep that. Next time I build a fire, I'll be able to uh, to just chill out a bit and do some serious crafting, including get myself a backpack. Then I can start to actually make some sort of livable fortified shelter or something. Oh, there are a lot of pigmen. A lot of outhouses. Maybe the pigmen live in the outhouses. All things considered, they're pretty happy for outhouse dwelling pigmen. 
clearly they live better lives than we, for they have perished all thoughts of material attachment to this world. They have achieved true enlightenment, the pigmen have. They have achieved enlightenment, but I have achieved berry status. Get me some of them berries. Uh, it's starting to get late again already. I wanted to do more foraging. It is so difficult to see. Luckily that... Oh? It's getting... What the hell? So the light goes out in the outhouse and then immediately goes back on. I think the pigmen are just trying to fuck with me at this point. Let's see if it happens again. And wait for it. Yeah! What are they doing in there? This goes beyond mere fecal release. The pigmen are clearly up to some crafty bullshit in there. Taking shelter from the nut from uh, the night. They're doing experiments in their outhouses. I am obsessed with these stupid outhouses. And it's only now dawning on me. I have the entire breadth of this game at my disposal, and yet I fixate like a goddamn man-child on these outhouses. Oh, you are not sneaking up on me and forcing me to burn another forest down, spider. You and all of your friends can go to hell. I will commit a war of extermination against your people. What, what secrets do the rocks have for me? What strange vermin cower beneath my rocks? Ah, uh, spider land. I, I'm sure I'll encounter a lot more spiders down the road, so I'm not going to pick up every spider gland I see just lying around on the floor. These petty, commonplace household spider glands. They fail to pique my interest, unlike all of these fascinating and much, much less common, or much, much more common outhouses. Oh, it's starting to rain. That can't be good. Eh. Okay, now I can sit down and take a real good look at, some, at what I can craft. Okay, so let's go down to science. Yeah, I can build my science machine finally. Let's get that out of the way and I can start cranking out prototypes and new items. Yeah, that just unlocked a whole wealth of new options for me. Several of which are locked. I can prototype, to, uh, prototype a hay wall. I'm going to need that later. I think I need that for day five or day six. But, not yet. Let's look. Rope, I can transmute. Transmute? How? Oh. Probably not the word. Not exactly committing alchemy here. I think there is an alchemy machine, actually. What else do we have? Pan flute. What would I need a pan flute for? Alchemy engine. Yeah, there it is. I have not made it far enough into the game. This is something I would like. A farm. I have not made it that far into the game to know what some of the, uh, the later machines and how deep this all goes is, this is, uh, I think, my third hour playing Don't Starve in total. Oh shit, the, the rain! Oh god damn it, I have to build a fire. Build a fire. No, I can't place the fire anywhere! Oh my god. Oh god, I got so tunnel vision looking at all the stuff that I could build that I forgot th that it was raining and that it would probably put the fire out. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one.